Okay, so uh, so I'm just starting the session. So good morning, everyone. So my name is Devolina, and today I'm going to take you to the platform. And also, I have Miss Kalpana Mohan with us, who is going to be, you know, giving you the best session for this uh, today Sunday. So uh, before starting the session, let me just tell you that uh, what is the school is all about. So uh, like uh, as today the uh, Sunday story time is about the Indian heroes, who is Lal Bahadur Shastri. So everyone you know about him. So he was an Indian statesman who served as the second Prime Minister of. India and devoted himself for the struggle of for freedom and feverish energy. So, uh, Mrs. Kalpana Mohan will guide you uh, with the respect of with this great freedom fighter. So, before that, I will just give you an intro of the school. So, what it is? Let me just share the screen first. So, yeah, I hope everyone can see my screen over here. So, this is the school's page. So, what is the school is all about? So, it's an ethics startup recognized by the government of India. So, we have almost covered like 4,000 plus schools all over this India and 100 plus hobby classes. So uh, it is like we keep the school space easy to for the parents so that they can easily understand and get the proper guide to be, try and find the best school for the children. So how they can do? Let me just uh, give you the uh, quiet demo. So uh, like I am nearby area, so you just need to put the nearby area of your uh, over here. So whenever you are clicking the area over here, you can easily get the as many schools which are registered with us over here. So there you can see the multiple pages and the schools name running over here. So you can easily click one of them. By clicking on that page, you can easily get the all information which are registered and you know posted over here. So the images, like the, the academic fees, what is it is, and how is the like each and every details we have posted over here. So it will be easy for the parent to guide uh, for their uh, students, you know, children school. So you can get all the information over here along with the mail ID and the contact number, so that you can easily guide the uh, you know school. So we have also kept another option which is called the compare. So many parents also find that there are three, four schools which are the best for their children, but there it is it's quite confusing, like which is going to be the best. So we have also kept an option like the compare, where they can compare three to three schools over here by clicking on that compare option, and that's how they can easily get a chart by where they can easily identify that which is going to be the best school for their children. So this is the easy method we have kept for the parents so that they can easily find out the best way. So apart from this, we also have like the blogs and the testing testimonials like the events which one of this is the so events and all which we do every Sunday so it is you know encourage the children and also we have you know the various kind of awards which we got and also apart from that the testimonials of course from the parents so these are the things which we have on our platform so whenever you are free you can easily explore that so apart from that we also have a YouTube page where there are multiple videos are posted over here so uh, parents whenever you are feel free uh, and the children you can easily go through the page and you know explore it so uh, this is all about the school's page and uh, as i said that today's sunday story is about the lal bahadur shastri and we have uh, you know uh, yeah. miss kalpana mohan over here who is going yeah. to contribute this so uh, ma'am uh, like i would request if you can just you know uh, continue from here over to you hi good morning everybody all kids are you all ready for a sunday you all the, uh, up already all of you yeah let's start something today we all celebrated some very big national festival recently what was it you all know you can give the answers in your in your chat box or you are unmute and say what did we have last uh, monday what did we celebrate mom independence day very good yes purvi we celebrated independence day independence day means we got freedom from the uh, british uh, 75 years ago and this is the 76th year but there are so many people so many people worked for our country and some of them have been very very famous and some of them are little unsung heroes we don't know a few of them we are they are not very popularized and things like that we are going to see one such person who was a very big person very very nice very simple and of course from a very humble beginning and he started like a uh, uh, can i ask everybody to mute now so that everybody can hear now i'll share my screen and i want to tell a story about a person who was very very great and who was really really worked very hard for india so i'm going to start the screen now i'm going to share the screen now with you people then uh, we start the uh, today's session before that i need to do something um 
Something I need to do. Is that? No. Okay. Um, let me not uh, go anything up against it. So we are going to tell us, start with our small story about a very great personality. That means already the name has come to you, but still we will keep that as a suspense. We'll tell who is the person. Okay. So the person's name, one boy, small boy, he was studying in one school called Harish Chandra High School in Kashi. You know where Kashi is? Anybody know? Kashi Varanasi, it is there near the banks of Ganges River, Ganga. It is there in the northern part of India and it is very, very famous place. Also, Kashi is supposed to be the oldest existing city in the world. That is, it's been there. Kashi was there for a long, long, long time. Some of the other cities came very recently. Kashi is the first very big city, I believe. So, uh, the boy was studying in Harish Chandra High School in Kashi. You know what? His house was uh, other sides. It is eight miles. Me now kilometer. It will go to almost ten kilometers. It will be. It was the uh, um, very very far away from the school. And the boy used to walk to the school every day. But when he is walking, what happened? There is a river. River Ganges. You know, River Ganges is very big, perennial. Always there will be water. And the child, any season, the ch child cannot uh, walk through it, so he has to go across the river. The, across means he has to cross the river and come to another side to go to school. That time there were boats were all there, but there were they were charging money. This boy is a poor boy. Father, parents are all very, very humble. Farmers, they were not having so much money, etc. So in that time, there was called two pies. That is, uh, today... If you look into it, it may be some 40, 50 rupees. So that two pies he has to give every day. So every month it becomes two rupees. So the boy was thinking it's so very big money. It is very high. Just to go to school every day, we have to pay so much money. The boy was very simple, very nice boy. And also he was respecting the parents' uh, difficulties. Parents are very poor. They cannot afford to pay so much money. So he was very, um, re really disturbed. So we don't need to pay. We don't need to disturb the parents and all. So what he did every day, instead of taking the boat, what the boy will do? He will swim across the river. A river Ganges is very big and it's always having so much of water and very fast it will go. It is having a huge current. It will move very fast. The river is very fast. And you know this boy, good to small boy, he will cross over. Why? He wants to save money. So whatever the season, summer or winter or cold, you know, northern part of India during uh, winter, it will be terribly cold. As such, Ganges itself is a very cold river because it's coming from glaciers. Uh, the uh, snow is getting melted and so the river is there. And whatever the season may be, whatever the season may be, the child is always cross the river by swimming. Is it very easy to swim across the river? Is it very easy? Yes or no? no? It is very, very difficult because the child has Mama, to... Be... It's, very it's very dangerous. And it's a small boy. But you should do what? He swam across the river. Just to go to school. See the boy's uh, love for going to school also. So one day what happened? He entered Ganga and started swimming. It's very cold winter day. Chill it was. But still the boy had very high determination. No. He was just started swimming nicely. He started moving. So when he started moving, the, uh, the uh, people who were moving in the boat, he saw him. What they thought, what these people thought, the boy is drowning is going into the water they were so scared ooh, 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 what is it happening what is happening boy is going on small boy on small boy is going etc etc they were saying so what they did slowly they brought the boat near him and pulled the boy because they thought he's struggling to come out of the river there he's drowning they thought but what happened the boy didn't show any fear he was very strong he was thinking why you have pulled me i would have easily crossed i am swimming no like that he was thinking that is he was having no trace of anxiety he was not at all perturbed he was very happy and he's very silent very calm he was and other, the people, after pulling him to the boat, they were seeing what a very courageous boy he is. He's extraordinary. Very, very nice. 
everybody were talking among themselves see this boy how strong he is how nice how courageous it is and all they were talking to each other so they were seeing the boy's happiness and determination so one person asked him the few people were sitting there and asked him you have to you have, would have drowned now it is not as well to do such a courage they said you shouldn't have swam across you could have gone into the water ganges is very big river ganges is very strong river it is having huge cover it running with very great speed how can you do that even though you are courageous you shouldn't have done that it is not correct like that they said what did the boy say courage is a virtue it is comes up to everybody with very lot of difficulty it's a virtue it's a very big trait so one has to be courageous we need to put up our own determination and courage to come over thing and also he also said challenge in life is inevitable every day there are challenges there we cannot live without challenges it's not that morning get up going on very smoothly and finishing the day it can never happen because life has to have some kind of challenges everybody has got a challenge if you look into it you all get up in the morning brush your teeth go to the school come for your age it's a challenge similarly if your mother morning mother or father morning they get up they do lot of work before going to the office their office also they work for a long time and come back again it is a challenge for them a dog is the dog is having its own uh, problems uh, whether uh, it's on the road they have problem for food if it is at home somebody is uh, having it as pet even then they have challenges life cannot go without challenge life has to have challenges it is inevitable it is cannot be avoided but to face the challenge courage is important very important we have to be very strong but if i i am not becoming courageous now how i will become very strong in future in my life i have to face lot of difficulties in future but now if i am going to be courageous in future also i can make face challenges that's what he told then the people were very much astonished what is this how this boy can talk so much how this boy is so intelligent and talking and how courageous so he they asked why did you choose to swim at this hour you could have come in the afternoon it is so chill in the morning 7 o'clock 6 o'clock in the morning it is so chill why are you doing it now if you want to swim across the river you could have come in the afternoon no it will be sunny a little bit why are you doing it now they asked no no he said he said yes they he answered it is not just for fun i am swimming here i am going to school i am crossing the river to go to school so i can't come in the afternoon i have to come in the morning swim across the river then go to school that is what he answered so nice no that boy how strong the boy no then the people said then you should have gone by boat why are you swimming if you are going to school why are you swimming you got to sat in the boat like that they answered so the boy answered four pais are required to go to go by boat every day every day going to two pais coming back two pais and it will be very very big burden for my parents they are poor they don't have any money they have to feed children they have four five children for them so what i want to i want to be self reliant that means i want to take care of myself i want to do things for me myself i don't want to trouble my parents at all because they are poor they can't afford so much money for going to uh, other side every single day and also every time when i going to increase the expenses for them they become anxious oh how much i how can i pay my child how can i make the things happen at home and things like that so i don't want to do it it will be very difficult if they pay me four pais every day it will become very heavy on them then the people were looking at this boy what is this such a wonderful boy how can we so nice so strong and how he understands the parents problem so what all we do we say i want this i want this i want to buy this i want to buy that so much we say no but that what did that boy did he helped his parents by not taking 
both. He wants to help his parent by not taking both because they feel that boat, going by boat will really give a lot of trouble for their parents. That's what he thought. They looked at him. What a great personality he is. So who, what happened to this boy? Because he showed a lot of grit and intensity, hard work, he became the prime minister of Bharat. The young, courageous boy. Who is that boy now? We all know the name. Lal Bahadur Shastri. So he was very in high position also. He was very truthful. He never told lies. He was very strong. He was very highly integrated. I, I will not do anything wrong. Pure. He didn't take anything for anything. He was a very beautiful soul. Very nice personality. Honesty. He did, he did everything with genuinity. He didn't do anything for the sake of doing. He wanted to do everything properly with perfection. Honesty is his very, very important policy for Lal Bhagavad Shastri. He was the person who did so many things in his life to bring his life to a call. This one, everybody wants to follow it. That's why he became, immediately after Jala Nehru's death, he was made into the prime minister. Courage is a courageous person. We have seen the courage, no? What did he do every day? He swam across Ganges, which is a very dangerous, big river. But he did it to just to help his parents. And simple. He is not having any form and show. He didn't wear a big flashy clothes. He didn't have anything. And he didn't even spend two pies for the boat. He thought that if at all I can swim across the river, I can swim across the river. Why should I take money? I can do things on my own. He was so simple and also patriotism. He loved his country, very, very high level. And he was an embodiment of good conduct. He was a very beautiful uh, child with good conduct. He wanted to help others. He wanted to help parents. He wanted to be very courageous. He was determined. He was doing things for saving his family, and so on and so forth. Such outstanding people, people like Lal Bahadur Shastri, has given a lot of impact on the children, people who are want to uh, live in a very, very simple way. Even though they have a huge power, prime minister of the country is the best and very big power in India. So even then, he was very simple, very nice person. That's where we need to understand how we can become small and nice and how we can become very, very genuine and pure. Lal Bahadur Shastri was the second prime minister of India, independent India, relatively a very new office because earlier we were being... Um, uh, uh, ruled by British. We have been ruled by British and uh, we, they were, but he is the second prime minister after uh, La La Nehru's death. And he also led India in a war against Pakistan in 1965. We, 19, uh, we won the war. We went, he went for uh, right, uh, having the pact and that time only he passed away. Also, he gave a very great slogan for the country. It's called Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Jai Jawan, that is, he was hailing all the soldiers and also the farmers. Also, why it has been, he, did, he always been self-reliant. He said, I will do for myself. I will not burden anybody. He said, no. Similarly, he want a strong nation. India should not put his hand in front of any other nation for money or power. We need to have a good army. We need to have a good farmer. That's what he said. And he's exceptionally powerful, but he was a small little fellow, small, frail, and very soft-spoken. He doesn't shout. He doesn't scream. He's a very, very short-spoken person. So let us see a small video about um, him. 
Uh, I'll share uh, uh, that video for you. Then it will be very beautiful. It was given by news on his birthday. Just like that, I'll just show you now. On, uh, just, uh, just a second, children. You know that feeling when you finish a PowerPoint presentation and you realize it looks dull, lifeless, or just plain boring? Yeah, now you will get it. Now, see this. It's almost a ritual to pay a tribute to our great leaders on their birth anniversary. And uh, this is what should be done. But what's often neglected is an awareness in the younger generations of the stellar contribution made by some of them to nation building. One such forgotten hero, you could call him, is Lal Bahadur Shastri. We remember the man on his 115th birth anniversary. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Kisan, Jai Kisan, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. It was during the Indo-Pak War of 1965 that India's second Prime Minister, Lal Bahadur Shastri, coined the slogan Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. During his prime ministerial tenure, which unfortunately was cut short by his untimely death, Shastri boosted the morale of the nation by leading India to victory over Pakistan. His vision for self-sufficiency in food grains led to sowing the seeds of the Green Revolution and promotion of the White Revolution. The country owes it to him in no small measure that we are self-sufficient in food grains production today. But that's not all. The man led by example and not just instructions. When Shastri suggested to cut down on meals during India's food shortage, he skipped two meals, suggesting others to skip only one. Even though his family forced him into buying a car, Shastri never promoted the idea of luxuries because he considered himself a government servant and led a simple life. Shastri's empathy towards people was reflected when, as Uttar Pradesh's Minister of Police and Transport, he ordered that the police should use water jets instead of lathis to control unruly crowds. From being the railway minister to being Minister of Commerce and Industry, Lal Bahadur Shastri had served in various positions before being elected the Prime Minister of India. The fact that Shastri was the first transport minister to open the post of bus conductors to women showed how forward-looking he was. In an age of blame game, Shastri's political integrity stood tall when he was the Union Railway Minister. A train accident took place in Tamil Nadu, which happened to kill around 150 passengers. Shastri took it to his integrity and felt responsible for the incident. He resigned from his position as a railway minister. Moreover, Shastri's love for the motherland was evident when he responded to Mahatma Gandhi's call to join the non-cooperation movement at the young age of 16. Jawaharlal Nehru was succeeded by a humble and soft-spoken Lal Bahadur Shastri on 9th June 1964. As someone who shunned the caste system, Shastri even dropped his surname Shivastav as a mark of opposition. India's second Prime Minister died due to a heart attack. Though conspiracy theories have brewed around his death, but nothing substantial has been proven yet. From swimming to school because he had no money to get on a boat, to becoming the second Prime Minister, Lal Bahadur Shastri is an inspiration to generations. Bureau report, we on World is One. So, did you all see that? How he swam I across the river? And do you want to read these types of books in one week? Do you all Let see? You five did you all see that? How, how he was good? How greatly he swam across the river? It came in news. They are showing in news that he is going, is that kind of integrity he had. Very simple. Very nice, highly patriotic personality. Now, let me not uh, share anything. I'll just come to your screen. You all should ask me questions. What all you understood in this? Now, I am asking you a few questions now. What did you understand when the boy swam across the river? All of you unmute now. You have to answer. What did you Man, understand? He wanted to do everything on himself because he because his parents were poor. poor. Yeah. Absolutely. Then he, what, what was the uh, one act he did? He was very courageous. He wanted to do things on his own. Yes? Yes or no? Harshika, you are answering? Answer. 
You want to say something, Arshika? He he wanted to be courageous. He wanted to be courageous. Then what else? He wanted to go to school by by swimming across. He doesn't want to waste money hmm. and take money from his mother and father. Very nice. Yes. So is it is it uh, something which very very unique? No, will everybody do that? Yes. Everybody will do that. Huh? They will say, I'll go by swimming. Will they do? Mm-hmm. Nobody will do. They will have very fe- big fear. How can they cross the river and all? They will have fear. But who didn't have fear here? Lalbadu Shastri didn't have any fear. He was very, very courageous. So what did it show? That means simple life, simple and happy life is very important than very grand life. We should not trouble parents. We should not see ask for anything extraordinary. But at the same time, we should really, really good to do things for others. Serving nation. Also, he was known as a prime minister. He knew the value of uh, uh, army people and the farmers. He respected yes. them. Sorry. He respected them. He started green revolution. Green revolution means we want to become self-sufficient in fruit production. Now, India is almost self-sufficient in fruit production. And we are also exporting things to outside country also. We are giving to others also. So that is the starting point. How uh, Lal Bhagadur Shasti started. He was the one who gave that kind of courage, that kind of support to farmers. Also, during the war, he supported the army people and he said, army people are very important, so Jai Jawan. So then what else uh, you understood from uh, Lal Bhagadur Shastri's life? Anything else you want to share about him? After you know story, anything? Anita, you want to say something? Pavan, you want to say something? You all should talk. See, Harshita talk, Purvi talk, spoke. Huh? Pavan, do you have something to ask me? Kajal, Ram, Nandini? Huh? Yeah. Um, after Lal Badu Shastri told that I always swim uh, every day, the boat, the boatman and all they use, what did they do after that? Mm-hmm. No, he, they didn't do anything. They cannot take them free every day, no. So he was swimming across the river every day and he was going to school. Very nice, no? Then anybody want to ask any other questions to me? So let's understand simple and happy life courageous and strong life, honesty and pure life. Even though he's a small man, small made man, look very simple, but his heart is gold. And he was also born on October 2nd as Mahatma Gandhi was born on. So his uh, birthday is also celebrated on that day. But he's, now we all know he's not an unsung hero. We should praise him. We should remember him always because he's one of the finest human being which, gave, which India has produced. And we all had a good leader like him so we need to follow his footsteps to understand how we also have become very great leader by being simple honest pure and courageous okay do you all like the story today do you all like do you all yes, like ma'am. yes oh, all of you yes ma'am. Do you like that? yes ma'am it was nice right that courage was nice right how he did it nice right so even though he's a very uh, nice Sorry? It was very nice. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. So that is what we have got for today. We had all had a very good time. We are going to have more people coming. But today we had Lal Bahadur Shastri, who is an unsung hero. At the same time, a great human being, great prime minister, even though for a short time he was the prime minister, but he was one of the best prime minister we had. Very simple, very pure, highly 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 motivated at the same time he doesn't give anything wrong to the people in fact he has not got even simple things for himself he he as a prime minister also he didn't want to buy a car also he only used for some time and he paid emi to take the car he didn't even give sent this by his sons to big big colleges by using his influence also very simple very honest person honesty is the best policy at the same time we should be very courageous and determined to become honest also. We need to show a lot of courage to become honest. We all do that. As young children, we need to keep that. Them, the people like Lal Bahadur Shastri was our role model. How people can be great by doing simple, being simple and doing great things. Okay, children? Okay, you all, do you all enjoy today's, you all enjoy today's uh, story? 
the story of Lal Bhagavadu Shastri swimming across Ganges. Thank you, children. If yeah, you thank you. Yeah, thank you, Kalpana ma'am, for having giving us the great session for the children. So one thing I also want to add, like what I learned, that uh, never yeah. you know lose the hope and always be that courageous so that you can achieve your goal. So this is what I have uh, you know learned from the session. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a really great. It was really great with ma'am. So children, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday, and I have also you know. Uh, appreciate that you come and give us the great session with the children on this you know sunday morning it is very tough for the children to come up and sit for the story yeah. time yeah but they are, i really appreciate all the children that they come up and it was a really great uh, session i want to tell all the children that they should they should bring all their friends also to learn more yeah sure sure and sure the children the friends and everybody come let's have something new something nice every sunday morning for at least for 40 30 40 minutes so that the day starts and the week starts with a great show. right yeah yes sure so thank you ma'am and thank you all the children for coming up and have a great weekend so enjoy yeah thank you bye bye everyone bye all of you bye children bye 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 ma'am the session was very nice thank you bye ma'am bye puvi yeah bye ma'am bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.